Let's practice uh, Photoshop selective blurring using masking. You can download this picture of a boy at sdrv.ms slash 104h capital R N C. So we have a picture here and we're going to practice a popular photography technique. And we're going to duplicate it. You can right click the layer and duplicate it or you can even press Control J. That's the ninja shortcut. You can jump to a new layer. So we duplicated the layer. Click on OK. And now we have a second layer here. We're going to apply a blur. I'm going to go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur is uh, pretty fast. Lens Blur is used as well. But we're going to go Gaussian Blur and we're just going to set a setting of 10. So as you scrub through this radius here, you can see it gets uh, less fuzzy or more fuzzy. We'll just type in a number of 10 and press OK. You can see that the picture is now more blurry and we're applying this blur to the top layer. So let's try this in two ways. So we're going to use the eraser technique which is kind of more for beginners. So beginners may understand this better. I'm going to use the eraser tool here. And when you use the eraser tool, just hit the drop down box and make sure that we have a soft type brush and the hardness is set to zero. So as I erase the face area, you can see it's becoming more crisp and clean. So this is a popular technique, drawing attention to certain parts and blurring away the backgrounds that photographers use. And you can see here in the layers, you can see the face is erased away. And, and the only reason why we see uh, uh, this working together is because the two layers are working together. So if I hide this background layer, you can see I erased away the face. That's what's going on here. Now, unfortunately, this technique is not the best because uh, it's hard to go back in time. If you accidentally crash and close the computer or if you draw a mustache, sometimes we, we have the problem of not being able to undo uh, using this technique. So let's try a better and more sophisticated way using layer masking. So let me press Control-Alt-Z to undo. So click on Photoshop, Control-Alt-Z. This time we're going to add a layer mask. So just hover over near the layers to this uh, rectangular box with a white circle, add layer mask. And uh, just do it one time only. You can see there's a white box here. What does this mean? The way that layer mask works is that you use the brush tool and we're going to choose the color black. So if you just have the black foreground color, you can start uh, painting away. So when you paint away, you can see that we're um, getting the face in focus here. As you paint away in black, you can see that there's black being applied to the layer mask. And just make sure that you have a good brush, a soft brush with low hardness. So this is working. Now if I hide the background layer, you can see that we have the same effect as we did before using the eraser tool. So what's the benefit? Why do the pros use layer masking? And the key idea is that Layer masking is nice because we can reveal transparent areas by using the color black and we can go backwards anytime we wish by using the color white. So I'm going to use the color white and you can see I can simply paint back my original image. So the idea of being able to just go back and forth anytime regardless of uh, uh, the circumstance is, is very, very uh, uh, reassuring. Now one other kind of note about layer masking is that we don't have to simply go all black or all white. We can even use gray. So if I were to double click the foreground, foreground color and choose some uh, type of gray color, I'll use a gray, I'm going to use the paintbrush tool and can you see what's happening here? We're actually partially making the layer transparent and this can uh, uh, add some new possibilities to how much, uh, how see-through an image is. Now using this uh, technique of uh, grays and partial transparency, uh, blacks would make it completely transparent and and choosing white to restore back the result. This is extremely powerful. So we have this uh, nice photography technique. Imagine uh, making the face not fuzzy. Perhaps you have a wedding photography with a bouquet of flowers, bringing the flowers back in. If you have a veil, you might want to just clean the edges a bit just to bring a little bit of focus to the edges. Uh, this is particularly useful if you have a nice family portrait and you have some nice grass in the background. The, the family is in 
focus, especially their faces, uh, whereas the background is quite blurred and you can have a magical type of uh, effect where maybe the grass in the front would be crisp, but then you quickly get into a magical blur, really drawing the focus towards your family members, towards the faces, which is, which is really what people look at first.